He has almost supped. Why have you left the chamber? Does he ask for me? No, you not. He has. We will proceed no further with this business. He has honored me of late, and I have bought golden opinions from all sorts of people, which would be worn now in their newest gloss, not cast aside so soon. Was the hope drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Hath it slept since, and wakes it now to look so green and pale at what it did so freely? From this time, such I account thy love. He meets a group of witches very briefly who tell him that uh, he's going to be the king. And now he's got a secret desire to be the king anyway. It's not too secret when he meets his wife, and they have already dis discussed it in the past. If I were king, you know, you'd be queen. It'd be great, wouldn't it? And now they have the opportunity to do something about it because for the first and only time, the real king is under their roof. So they murder him. I have given suck and know how tender it is to love the babe that milks me, I would, while it was smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from his boneless gums and dashed the brains out. There's a lot of sex and violence, isn't there? Yes, mm. I think so. Mm. I think... Well, we're happy to say, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think, obviously, we start, well, we play, that we start having a very good sexual relationship, but she is obviously turned on by violence and power and greed and um, this actually disintegrates their, pers their, their passionate relationship. It goes wrong because in a way they take the game too far. When in swinish sleep their drenched natures lies as in a death, what cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded <sighs> Duncan? What not put upon his spongy officers? Who shall bear the guilt of our great quell? Bring forth men, children only. For thy undaunted metal should compose nothing but males. <laughs> 